Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert. Now, in recent years, it's become quite trendy and quite popular to use live consoles where you have the ability to import the same plugins and plugin settings as we're using here in the studio. Now, that's great in theory. You have the same tone shaping capabilities as we have here in the studio on stage in a live environment. But it kind of falls over when you realize that you're not gonna be using an AKG C12 or a Neumann U87, or a Sontron Xaria live on stage as a vocal mic, or quite frankly, you wouldn't use this on stage at all. It kind of falls over as an argument. Now, the good folks at DPA have come up with a solution to this. This is a de facto two microphone. Now, at the moment, it is a normal kind of handheld, there's the XLR connector, um, normal handheld style vocal condenser microphone. Now, if I ring its neck and take the pop screen off, you'll see we have small diaphragm condenser capsule. Again, I can ring that neck and take the capsule off. Now, that is effectively the sound of this microphone. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could take this element and put it into your radio mic system? Well, DPA have come up with a way of doing just that. You can now buy these. And these are adapters that take the de facto two capsule and effectively mate them to your professional radio wireless microphone transmitting pack body. And that is exactly what we're gonna try out today. Um, Rose, singer from my band, who you may recognize from the Sontronics and Latch Lake event we did at Red Bull Studios a little while ago. She's popped in before we go to a gig tonight uh, and is just going to record some vocals for us using the de facto as is. So we'll put this one back together. So that's effectively the de facto 2 body with the capsule mount. We'll screw the capsule back on there. We'll put the windscreen shield back on, if I can get it right. And then she's going to sing just a few lines through this. We'll capture it, then we're going to shoot off to a gig, and hopefully, with a bit of luck and a following wind, we will get some footage and some audio of Rose using this bit, effectively, with our Shaw transmission packs. What we'll then do is we'll get Rose to sing some vocals into this thing. We'll then take it apart, put the important bit onto our Shure professional radio system for live use, and we'll get some video and some audio from that, and then we can compare the two. Obviously, the environment's gonna be very different. There'll be a lot of background bleed going into this thing in the live environment, but hopefully we'll be able to see if the theory at least works and if it carries through. I really like it as an idea, so let's try it out. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I've been all right up till now. It's the light of day that shows me how. And when the night falls, my lonely heart falls. So it's the metaphorical morning after the night before. We had a great gig last night. The audience really seemed to enjoy themselves and it's confession time. Uh, the audio that we tried to capture from the gig didn't turn out so well. That's what they call failed multitasking, I'm afraid. Um, not always easy to drum, sing, run the sound and actually record everything all at the same time. But hey, I'm sure you understand. However, this thing, or certainly this part, of this thing, the de facto two, performed incredibly well. We all commented the vocal sound was significantly better than usual. Um, the general sort of 
the clutter in the vocal, if that makes any sense, just wasn't there. The much nicer top end, of course, you'd expect that from a condenser capsule over the normal SM58 style dynamic capsules we normally use, but absolutely flawless performance from this thing. Much, much better feedback rejection as well from the monitors. We have our monitors quite loud, um, and there really wasn't the screams or that kind of 100 hertz oh, that you do sometimes get from having loud on stage wedge monitors. But a brilliant idea, a fantastic concept, and one that deserves to do incredibly well, which is why I am giving the de facto 2 system as a whole and it's choice. This thing is absolutely brilliant. The only downside, if this can be a downside, is that DPA stuff is not built to a budget. It is not built down to an accountant's spreadsheet. It is a little bit more expensive and you pay a premium for quality. But trust me, in this case, the quality is totally worth it, which is why it's getting made as choice. So hopefully you enjoyed that. It is very helpful to have a band to be able to call on from time to time to do these kind of crazy things. Um, and hopefully we'll do that some more. Uh, with a bit of luck, DPA will send me some more toys to play with. Uh, and who knows where we might go with that next. But for now, I've been James from Puddles Expert, and I'll see you again soon for some more gear talk.